Now, India's Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-3 missions are similar in many ways. When Chandrayaan-2 crash-landed on the moon, ISRO decided to follow it up with Chandrayaan-3. Now, as the landing date of Chandrayaan-3 is barely four days away, here's an explainer on how Chandrayaan-2 mission continues to help its successor, Chandrayaan-3. As Chandrayaan-3's Vikram lander prepares for its August 23rd lunar landing, did you know that it is being ably assisted by its predecessor mission? You may remember India's second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2, was making its lunar landing on September 7, 2019. Barely two kilometers above the lunar surface, India lost contact with its lunar lander and soon learned that it had crash-landed. However, what was lost was only the lunar lander and the rover within. The mission's lunar orbiter continues to circle the moon and provide valuable data. It was said that the orbiter would live for around 8 years from 2019. As it circles the moon, Chandrayaan 2's orbiter has been gathering valuable data, using its sensors and cameras. Notably, the CY2 orbiters, OHRC Orbiter High Resolution Camera and Terrain Mapping Camera are among the highest quality cameras around the Moon. This means, even today, ISRO continues to get valuable data and images that help map the lunar surface and its terrain. When CY2 attempted landing, ISRO had to use images shared by forward agencies and international partners but CY3 has the help of CY2 orbiter. Therefore, ISRO has a precise indigenously developed map of the lunar south polar region which Chandrayaan-3 intends to land. The CY3 Vikram lander is largely autonomous and is not guided from Earth during landing. While attempting landing, it would compare its pre-fed images of the landing site with the live images from its own camera and then zero in on the landing site. After landing, the Vikram lander will eject its Pragyan rover and the duo will conduct in-situ experiments near the moon's 70-degree latitude. ISRO has equipped its latest Vikram lander to communicate with the rover and also directly with the ground stations on Earth. However, as a backup plan, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter could also be used to relay data and commands thus lander to CY-2 orbiter to Earth and back. While the Pragyan rover is exactly the same as its predecessor, the Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-3 has incorporated all lessons learned from CY-2. This time around, the Vikram lander is made heavier, made more robust and its software sensors have been improved. Its landing legs have been reinforced. While the previous mission's lander had five engines, this time around there are only four engines. We report We On World Is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.